Lynn Mosier is planning. Her mother's 96 and had been thinking about cremation after death. And I said, wait a minute. This sounds like a much better idea. It's Scottish biochemist Sandy Sullivan's idea, really. It's a chemical reduction of the body to ash. Or, in layman's terms, the body goes in this machine that looks like a bank vault. The machine immerses the body in a liquid that's 95% water, 5% potassium hydroxide. When it's heated, it dissolves the body, but there are no flames. The body would be placed on the tray, slid back in, door would be closed, locked. It takes about three hours. But what's left at the end is actually very similar to cremation. It's ash or dust from your bones. The only difference is it's a little bit lighter, basically the color of my shirt. Because Scottish law does not yet allow for this, Sullivan brought it to Florida, which does. So Anderson McQueen Funeral Home in St. Pete is now using it. This is considered to be an environmentally friendly type alternative to the traditional cremation market. In fact, biocremation uses one-eighth the energy of a regular cremation and leaves one-fourth the carbon footprint. It also saves land space and allows Lynn's mother to avoid something she wasn't looking forward to. She was so cute, she says, well, I like that. I didn't like the, the idea of being burned anyway. I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action News. And Jeff tells us the cost for the procedure is the same as being cremated.